Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the starship Odin, its five-year mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no man has gone before. Hello subscribers and non-subscribers, welcome back to me playing Star Trek Online. Uh, let's just go ahead and make our way down to the uh, Donatu system. So we'll have to go to the Eta Rendi sector block. Um, and I've decided this is going to be a bi-weekly series, so there will be an episode every other week. So you guys will be getting this episode, what is it, uh, September 4th, I think it is. Um, and just, and there won't be an episode that following week, and then there'll be an episode the week after that, and so on and so forth. Uh, just because that works better for me, to be honest. Um, so yeah. And hope you guys like that little, uh, intro segment, that Paramount-style intro that I used there. Um, and I decided that's the one I'm going to be using for every episode of this, just due to the fact that, um... Well, to my knowledge, Paramount some, in some way, shape, and or form has its hand in Star Trek. Um, but I'm not exactly... From what I could tell, it seems they sell the DVDs and uh, Blu-rays and whatnot. Uh, but I don't know if they actually hold the actual license to it, but I could be wrong about that. Oh. My ship kind of freaked out there because someone because he was flying over me with uh, quantum slipstream drive. So yeah. Um, you know, I think I might do some fast forwarding in the, I might do some fast forwarding and editing because this is taking much longer than I actually thought it was. We have arrived at the uh, border, so we can go ahead and continue on. On the front lines of the Klingon Federation War, brave captains from both sides battled to defend their homes and gain advantages for their faction. Each death has meaning, every victory can turn the tide. These are the conflicts that will determine the fate of the Quadrant. Um, I guess I was going to station, so I don't know where they're right now. I'm going to search the DT-West at once. So let's go to the next system. Actually, I'm going to just go ahead and just go straight towards it, but honestly, it'll probably be off. No, my luck, because it seems to love doing that to him off to the side. Basically, missing where I told him to go. So I told him to go to the next station, so he's going to be off to the side of the galaxy, or off to the side of the Power to weapons. Captain, to picking up multiple hostile contacts, both Klingon and True Way. I can understand the Klingons being here. They've been trying to claim this system for months, but the way, or but why the True Way? But why the true way normally don't leave Cardassian space? They have no reason to be here. They're refusing to respond to our hail, sir. We may have to board one of their ships to get some answers. And I'm sorry, but god damn, that grammar seems so far off. That may just be me.
It may just be me, but I just find it kind of odd that they're foreign Cardassian ships. I would have thought they would have their own, to be honest. But I guess maybe they're a sect of some kind. Um, within Cardassian group race, I guess the best way to describe it. That really freaking hurt. The Cardassian flagship, the Axon, has been disabled. Sir, warp core is stable for now. I recommend we get them. We get a closer look. Okay. The away team is standing by, sir. We can leave on your orders. Okay. Let's go ahead and beam us on over. Let's see. Yeah, I don't have any. Captain Cardassian's security teams are already starting to move in on our position. We should expect heavy resistance. Okay. Massive lag spike as I tried to turn. Can't see anything in here. Oh, this is actually where I want to go. to roll but it was far too slow on it. A triple. You know, in case I really care for one. Okay, 
disable the security force field, so be it. Uh, just take care of all the security measures between us and the bridge. I don't expect the Cardassians to go up that easily, though. They will probably send more security teams to intercept us. Okay, thank you. His voice seemed a bit odd when he died. Oh yeah, let's go and just put the mines down right in the middle of the room. Or in the middle of the doorway. Uh, Captain, did you see that? Yes, yes I did. I investigate strange occurrences in mess hall. Okay, investigate the dead Cardassian. Captain, what were those things? Sir, this Cardassian doesn't have any wounds on him. Or, Captain, what are those things? Sir, this Cardassian doesn't have any wounds on him, but my readings show that he was dead before he entered this room. I recommend that we find a medkit and perform an examination of the corpse. We need to know more about what happened to him. If he was attacked by those creatures, we need to be cautious. Any contact may be lethal. Okay. There it was again. Is there something wrong with the environmentals on this ship? Uh, all the medical equipment in this kit has been sterilized and is ready for use. Okay, medical tools. This medkit has a variety of standard medical tools available for use. However, before use the medkit, or before using the medkit to examine the remains of the Cardassians in the mess hall, it would be beneficial to study the medical records of the corpses and stasis in the sick bay. The background data on these patients will prepare you for an examination of the remains in the mess hall. Oh, okay, really? Fine. Read patient records. The patient admitted with a severe laceration sufferer while working in engineering. The wound was closed using an auto suture and the patient was released with instructions to refrain from act active duty and to return for another examination 24 hours. The patient returned as instructed, complaining of headache, elevated body temperature, and nausea. White cell count was elevated. Preliminary analysis showed signs of systematic infection resulting from contamination of wound site. The patient was held in sick bay for her. Treatment and observation, however, the infection spread rapidly and treatment with standard antibiotics was unsuccessful. A more rigorous treatment regime was formulated but also proved unsuccessful. The patient's vital function ceased, cause of death, circular system failure resulting from sepsis. The patient's body was prepared for transport back to Cardassia Prime. Okay. A uh, patient admitted complaining of pain and inability to concentrate on assigned duties. Patient was treated with hydrocortoline and told to rest. Physical or psychological evaluation was scheduled. Patient returned several hours later saying that neither the medication nor the result the rest had helped. Patient was treated with a larger dose of hydrocortoline and admitted to sick bay for observation. During this period, patient fell unconscious and was unable to be revived. An autopsy was conducted using a neural light probe to 
obtain a sample of brain tissue examination of the neural tissue did not show any signs of infection or trauma that would result in headaches or fatality, cause of death remains undermined, pending further investigation. Mm -hmm. A patient admitted complaining of extreme nausea and fatigue. Prime preliminary exams inconclusive. Patient health for overnight observation during which condition worsened. Patient died at 23.52 hours. Quarantine protocols put in place on CMO's orders and a level 8 force field is in use to prevent the spread of unknown possibly infectious agent. A force field may not be disabled without command level voice authorization. An autopsy on the patient was conducted using a laser scalpel. To open the chest cavity, all organs were intact and showed no signs of trauma or infection, which would explain the patient's demise. The cause of death remains undetermined, pending further investigation. And I think I said undermined over for the uh, one I read before that one. It's probably actually undetermined. It's kind of what I get for not really paying any attention to what I'm reading half the time. A uh, patient made with a fractured tibia suffered while in the holodeck. The bone was splinted and treated with a refrigerator. Or regenerator. Not a refrigerator. What the hell. Uh, patient returned later complaining of pain in the treated leg as well as an elevated body temperature. Patient was treated with a T-cell simulator to stave off any possible infection. Patient's condition continued to worsen while they were being continually treated to boost their immune response. Patient died 6.2 hours after injury and due to the extreme rate of deterioration of the patient. An infection is unlikely. Fear of contagious agent had... Er, Fear of a contagious agent being responsible was, as results in quarantine protocols being enacted. A case of death is yet to be determined. Corpse will be placed in stasis field pending further examination by the CMO. Patient made with a plasma burn caused by an exploding EPS conduit. The wound was treated using a protop laser. Patient was admitted to sick bay for sedation and observation. Patient suffered a neurological event resembling a cerebrovascular accident while sedated and was unable to be re uh, recitated. Further examination into the patient's death is pending an autopsy by the CMO. Okay. So now I can gather my medical tools. Use it. Captain, I don't think this tool helps determine the cause of death for the Cardassians in the missile. Even if there were wounds in the body to close at this point, I'm sure there would be. Or, I'm not sure that would do much good for the Cardassians in question. Fine, fine, fine. Laser scalpel. Nope, not the tool I need, okay. I'm just gonna go down the list. I really wasn't paying too much attention. That tool should give us better insight. Okay. Turns out that this individual died from a radical decrease in neural energy. It's almost as if he was drained by an outside source. All of the brain's activity came to a complete stop as its energy was depleted. I'm sure, there's a great deal of interference being picked up by the tricorder, most likely the result of an enemy of an energy residue from whatever was used to do this to the Cadassian. Perhaps we can track it down by following the energy trail. There is a science lab across the hall from the med bay. It should help. It should have access to the ship's internal sensors. Okay. Um, and let's see, let's go and search for Omega Energy. Oh, nope, none of those, okay. Um, Polaric Ions. Nope, okay. Um, Nuclear Fission Reactions? Okay. 
triolic waves. Oh. Picking up a large concentration of triolic waves centered around the ship's bridge captain. Triolic waves are harmful to humanoids. We will not be able to. We will not be able to be in the area for long, and the Cardassians would be subject to the delirious effects as well. They would not knowingly use triolic energy. I suggest we take a closer look. Whatever is causing the triolic waves probably is responsible for the deaths of the Cardassians in the mess hall. Okay. But technically speaking, we're also responsible for some of the death. Captain, set it in the bridge, yes. Technically speaking, we are responsible ourselves also for some of those deaths in the mess hall because, well, you know, we killed them. At least a couple of them. It's a bit hard to actually see with this lighting that they put in here. So I'll just use my Federation Type 2 phaser to kill everything. So I'm mistaking them now, Captain. Those were, um, Davidians. What's curious, though, is that Davidians are out of phase for us. Normally, we can't see them without a subspace force field turned, or turned with an extremely sensitive phase discrimin uh, discriminator. We didn't have that, so how are they appearing in our reality? I recommend checking the Axon's crew log entries. Maybe they were doing something that made it easier for the Davidians to exist here, okay? I would first like to go and actually get all the loot. Thank you very much, guys. Now uh, we can go and access the ship files. Uh, read Captain's Log. Our mission goes well. The Axon has disabled or destroyed seven enemy ships. I look forward to reporting all successes. The chief medical officer is concerned about casualties. It is his job to be concerned. Mine is to operate this ship at peak efficiency. I have read his report about unexplained deaths and dismissed it. There is always an explanation. He simply hasn't looked hard enough for it. I cannot let his failing this disrupt our mission. Gol Madrid, or Mad Reed, is looking for men of uh, purpose to assist him. He wants leaders with the will to use whatever means are necessary to free our people from Federation tyranny. If all goes well after this campaign, I will be seen as one of those leaders. How the hell did I get that? I don't know. Okay, whatever. Um, Chief Engineer's log. Repairs to the Axon go as expected, running low on uh, deuterium and warp coils. Wish there was this more time between battles to do more than patch critical systems, but time is the most precious commodity there is. Four crewmen down, one died in battle with Klingon forces, but three others died in accidents. I have spoken to the captain about launching an investigation, but he sees nothing about his dreams of glory and return to conquest. Unusual spike in triolic wave energy may be affecting warp core efficiency. Must speak to triolic and see if his sensor readings have turned up anything unusual. Letter from Maja arrived today. She and the children are well, but she worries about me. She wants to leave the true way and return to Cardassia Prime. Six months ago, I would have ignored her pleas. Now then, now though, I miss her and I see no end to this fighting. Perhaps she's right. Hey, science officer's log. Science officer log, star date 
1.08. My duties on a combat mission are limited, but I was pleased today to have a chance to scan the approaching Triffin's Comet. The comet itself has not been a focus of much scientific inquiry, and it last passed through this sector in the late 23rd century. My scans, however, reveal surprising amounts of trialic wave energy emitting from the comet, as well as detectable amount of Kryptonian particles. Trialic waves will unfortunately prevent a closer study of the comet. They are quite harmful to humanoid life forms, and the captain is loath to jeopardize our mission for my curiosity. I have requested the launch of a Class 1 probe. The um, cryotons are even great. Are of even greater interest. They appeared in instances of temporal disturbances, which could mean that this comet has been or will be in the presence of a temporal event. Time mechanics are so cumbersome. I must have more data, but the captain has never had much interest in science. Perhaps I will remind him that Kryptonian particles are harmful against the aliens who live in the Bajoran wormhole, a potential weapon to use against the Bajoran go the Bajoran's gods. May be enough of interest to him to divert our course. Captain, we should return to the Odin. I'm sure Starfleet Command would want to know that there are Davidians in the neutral zone. These battlegrounds are now their feeding grounds. Okay, return us to the ship. Our job here is done. Let's go and report to Franklin Drake. Are you sure that you found no sign of Cardassian's attempt to open a portal or otherwise bring to open a portal or otherwise bring the Davidians into our phase variance? This is troublesome. There are pieces of the puzzle I don't have yet. Let me do some digging and I'll be in touch. Okay, so I can go with a subspace field modulator. Plus 34 to all damage resistance rating for 15 seconds, minus 400 proton resistance rating for 15 seconds, and plus 15% defense for 15 seconds. I think I'd rather go with the phase shifted personal shield. Uh, spin the wheel. Yeah, I need your assistance with a rather delicate situation. We have an intelligence operative undercover at. Uh, in station. Her astute observations have given us the edge in several critical engagements in the neutral zone. 22 hours ago, this operative activated an emergency space subspace beacon. Zamara would only contact me in this manner if she was about to be discovered by the enemy or her life was in danger. I am understandably concerned. I need you to go to Dronza, find Zamara, and his sister. Take her to safety if you have to, but don't blow her cover. If you go in there are weapons blazing, you may get her killed. I've accessed your logs. It's been quite some time since you had some shore leave. I suggest you visit Dronza for some downtime. I think I'll take you up on that offer. And I can do that mission on my own at a later date. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and cut this off here. As always, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, share, and I will see you guys next time.